Hi everybody, Eric from Gearhead Daily. Uh, today's project, uh, we need to make a battery mount for our SLC we've called Grifter or Stormtrooper, depends on what, you, what your opinion is. So uh, these uh, don't have a very set place to put the battery. However, uh, they do recommend that you put the battery closest to uh, the fuse box, which for our ISIS system, which we'll talk about later in another video. So um, that's gonna go about here. Battery's gonna be here, so it's gonna be a very short wire. Um, our alternator is going to be right on the other side of the engine, so it's going to be a relatively short run. Uh, we have to uh, be careful about heat because we're going to have side exhaust coming out right about here. We've got our coolant tube here, so we got to make sure our battery is nice and a, a good, safe place that's away from heat, um, yet uh, is close enough to all of our electronic stuff. So there's a lot of different uh, battery holders and tie downs and, and things you can buy, and that's cool and they look nice. Um, but uh, it's always more fun to make it yourself. So uh, we've determined that this is about a roughly a good spot for it. We've got a piece of uh, scrap uh, aluminum that we've, found, uh, that we've had, uh, we just bought, we've been cutting out for different projects. Uh, we've marked it so it's about a one inch all the way around so we can bolt it to the frame. And uh, we've got some tie downs, so we're gonna be drilling some holes. What we're gonna be doing, is we're just gonna use an angle grinder to cut this out. And uh, one tip for you, always wear your safety glasses. I'm sure you already knew that. But also, uh, when you use an angle grinder, always put it on its back. Uh, those things have enough torque that if it, uh, a weird random event were to kick it off, uh, the thing can jump up and bite you in the teeth. So be careful. Let's get started. So we have this leftover piece of quarter inch aluminum that we're gonna use for the top of our battery. We originally had drilled a couple holes and we were just gonna set it right on top. One of, one of our friends had said, hey, why don't you drill some speed holes in that bad boy? So we did. Uh, looks like this, took out the center section. It's crude, it gets the job done. You obviously can do a better job than I did, but hey, it works. So uh, every little bit counts, uh, especially in a car as light as ours, every little ounce counts. Uh, counts. So and when you see stuff like this, that means speed. Yeah, boy, 90s reference. So as you can see, I've already cut out our plate, uh, which is gonna hold the battery. I've, cut, I've drilled some poles and I've uh, rounded off the corners just in case we nick our knee by it. I have already drilled and uh, bolted it to the frame, not going anywhere. It's gonna mount our Optima battery, and we're gonna use these aluminum studs uh, that are threaded uh, as our posts, and uh, we're gonna secure it with that top you just saw. Uh, cool thing about the Optima battery is you can mount them upside down, you can mount them on the side, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's the cool thing about them. Uh, we uh, put it upside, right side up because it's going to mount up here to our electrical box. There you go. Our battery holder is pretty much done. All I've got left is to cinch down a couple of nuts. Be careful not to cinch too tight. You don't want to crush the plastic top here. Uh, for about 30 bucks or so, you got yourself a custom battery hold down. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. See ya.